Hi everyone, I'm Jamina and welcome to this video. If you've missed any of the videos of me working on this project, the links are in the description. In this video, I'm over in Adobe Premiere Pro, putting the plates of burgers and fries I created in Photoshop on the coffee table. So let's get started. Since this is the first clip, I'm going to grab it and drop it onto the timeline. Let's get closer to the table so we can get a better look. Up in the effects control panel, let's click on scale and scale it down and pull it down onto the table. Let me click on position and use the down arrow pulling it down onto the table. Now I'm going to get my two favorite effects, the drop shadow and brightness and contrast effect and drop them up in the effects control panel. Now let's adjust them. First the brightness and contrast, then the drop shadow. Let's reposition it. Now let's add another one. Let me unlock the projects panel and pick my next clip. This one. I'm going to click on this monitor to put it in a source monitor. Now I'm going to make a copy of this clip by holding the Alt key, clicking on the clip and dragging it. Then right clicking and replacing with clip in source monitor. I'm replacing the clip instead of just dropping it on the timeline because the clip I copied already has the effect size and position on it. So the replace clip will now have all the effects of the clip I replaced. So now I don't have to resize it. I may have to reposition it, but I don't have to resize it. All I have to do is click on the clip, go to effects control panel, click on position and move it over and put it wherever I want. Let's do the last one. I'm gonna make a copy of this clip by holding the Alt key, clicking on the clip and dragging it. Then I'm gonna click on the last plate. There it is. And I'm going to click on this monitor, putting it up in the source monitor. Now I'm going to right click on the clip I copied and replace it with clip and source monitor. In the effects control panel, I'm going to click on position and drag it over. Let me slide the projects panel back in place. Now let's add a horizontal flip effect. Let's click on the clip and drop the effect up in the effects control panel. Let's add it to this one also. Now let's extend these clips. Let's start adding the rest of the plates. Let me unlock the project panel and click on the next clip. Click this monitor to put it in the source monitor. Now I'm gonna make a copy by holding the Alt key, clicking on the clip and dragging it. Let's do the same to these two clips. Hold the Alt key, click on the clip and drag it. Since I have several different variations of the clip to drop on the timeline, I'm gonna make several copies of all three clips. Now I'm going to start replacing the clips with the clips in the source monitor.
Now let's add some drinks. Let's start with this one. Let's grab the clip, put it on the timeline, and extend it. In the effects control panel, I'm gonna scale the cup down. Now I'm gonna reposition it. Now let's add another one. Let's move this one up on this track so it's in front of the plates of food. Let's unlock this track and copy this clip to it by holding the Alt key, clicking the clip, dragging it. Now I'm going to move it over. Now let's add the brightness and contrast effect by dropping it on each clip. Let's do the same with the drop shadow effect by grabbing it and dropping it on each clip. Now I'm going to adjust them. Here I'm copying clips of the pink buggy and pasting it in other parts of the video. I'm making copies of these clips by holding the Alt key, clicking on the clips, and dragging them. Then I'm changing the position of the new clip to create some animation.
I'm just extending these clips. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll join me in the next one.